Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Ursha, and this week we are doing another tag video. And this is called The Original vs. The Remake, created by Movie Review Time, and I was tagged by HorrorFan34. So check out both their channels, like and subscribe, and let's get to it, shall we? Because this is a long one. There is 27 of them. Uh, including a bonus question, so, I mean, I could spend hours on this one, but I'm going to try to keep it short on each one, you know. So let's get to it. Number one is the Amityville Horror. Uh, so in this one, I am going to take the rare exception. Uh, the remake, I feel, is better than the original. Um, because the original, I feel, is kind of overrated, you know. Uh, I feel like... I was, it scared me as a little kid, but it doesn't quite hold up these days, you know. Uh, it's very slow moving, not a lot happens, you don't see very much. And uh, I just feel like it doesn't hold up, and where you do see a lot in the remake. And uh, you do see a lot of the ghosts, and uh, it is scary. And uh, I like Ryan Reynolds' character, he degenerates from a, being a nice normal guy into a loony, <laughs> you know. And I like that. Uh, so number two is Black Christmas. Uh, definitely that's a no-brainer. It's got to be the original uh, 1974 classic directed by Bob Clark. Uh, starring Margot Kidder, John Saxon, uh, Olivia Hussey. So many great characters and it's so well done. It's very scary. Uh, and it still holds up very well to this day. And it's very, very influential on the slasher genre. Uh, number three is Dawn of the Dead. Uh, the 2004 remake was very successful by Zack Snyder. Uh, and it was very solid. It's one of the better remakes. And it does not hold a candle to the original. Because the original classic from the 70s by George A. Romero is the greatest zombie film ever made in my opinion. Uh, it's an absolute masterpiece. It's a zombie epic for all time. It's amazing. So definitely the original. Number four is The Evil Dead. Uh, so while the, re the remake was successful as well, uh, similar to The Dawn of the Dead, um, you still can't hold a candle to the original because, come on, the great direction by Sam Raimi, the legendary character of Ash Williams as played by Bruce Campbell. It just doesn't get any better than that. And I feel like the original was very scary. Uh, the original did have a very serious tone as opposed to the later sequels. They got very comical. Uh, they're still awesome, but <laughs> the first one I feel was a more serious take. It was serious horror, and it was very effective. Uh, so definitely the original. Number five is The Fog. Um, yeah, definitely. That's a no-brainer. I mean, the remake was just complete garbage, you know. <laughs> so, like, no, no comparison whatsoever there. Definitely the original classic from John Carpenter. Uh, number, sec number six is Friday the 13th 1 to 3 versus the Friday the 13th remake. Uh, and the reason the question is like that is because the remake is basically made up of 1, 2, 3. Um, so definitely I'm going to go with the original 1 to 3 uh, in that series because I love all three of them. Um, the first two alone are blow away the remake to me. You know, I love, love, love the first two films. The third one is not quite as good in my opinion, but... Uh, it's still better than the remake. And I do enjoy the remake. <laughs> but I feel like 1, 2, and 3 got it beat by a country mile. Uh, number 7 is Fright Night. Uh, definitely got to go with the original. Classic from 1985 starring Chris Sarandon, uh, Roddy McDowell. Uh, amazing, amazing film. One of my favorite vampire films of all time. Uh, talk about an 80's classic. Uh, it's absolutely awesome and the remake was okay with Colin Farrell but can't hold a candle to the original uh, number eight Halloween don't get me started on this one <laughs> uh, now 
I will say that the remake is decent. Um, but was that enough reason to make it? No. I feel like it should have never been messed with. I feel like the original is an absolute five-star masterpiece. Why would you ever need to remake it is beyond me, because it's absolutely awesome and perfect the way it is. Why would you... To me, it's like the Psycho remake. Why would you redo that? Same thing with Halloween. Halloween is absolutely magnificent. Why do you need to remake it? You don't. And that's why the original is ten times better. A hundred times better than the remake. Uh, I did actually enjoy the remake um, to a point. There are a lot of things I don't like about it. But there are some things I do like about it. But does that justify it being made? No. Number nine is The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, this is a case where I do actually like the remake, but no, I gotta pick the original on that as well because I love Dee Wallace in the film. Uh, I love Wes Craven's direction in the film. Uh, it's definitely got that raw grittiness to it. Um, it's awesome. It's an awesome movie, and I hate, I hate to say I actually didn't see that until recently when I got the Blu-ray. Um, but I absolutely love the film. I think it's awesome. Definitely the original. So number 10 is The Hitcher. Now this one is a little closer because I think the remake actually was very entertaining uh, with Sean Bean as The Hitcher. Uh, I thought he did a great job. Uh, as did Rutger Hauer in the original. And then you had uh, C. Thomas Howell in there. Uh, great movie. Both movies I really enjoy, but... Uh, I have to give the original the slight edge on that one, because Rutger Hauer is just legendary in that movie. Uh, number 11, House of Wax. Uh, come on, it's Vincent Price classic. Uh, it's an absolutely immortal classic star in the legendary Vincent Price, and it's just great. It can't compare to the original. Uh, number 12, same thing, House on Haunted Hill. You got another great Vincent Price classic once again. Uh, versus the remake, which actually wasn't too bad. Uh, I did like Jeffrey Combs in that film, because uh, I always like him. Um, but you had Chris Kattan from Saturday Night Live. Eh. Gotta go with the original on that one. Number 13, I Spit on Your Grave. Uh, just a classic, uh, starring Camille Keaton. Uh, so definitely going with the original on that one. The original is absolutely amazing and one of the probably I would say that's the best rape revenge film ever made and it is hard to watch it's very hard to watch at times but very very realistic I mean you really feel for her um, and just the horrible things being done to her but it's all that more satisfying once the tables are turned and she becomes <laughs> the antagonist uh, so, number 14 is The Last House on the Left. Definitely going with the original by Wes Craven. It's an absolute classic, and it's it's so raw, and it's so nasty, it's so brutal. Uh, and the remake was as well. It was a pretty decent remake, but uh, the original classic for sure on that one. It's so nasty, it's so realistic, it's so brutal. Uh, number 15... My Bloody Valentine. Uh, now, the remake actually was very fun with the whole 3D aspect, uh, and it was super gory, um, but it can't compare to the original. The original is one of the greatest slasher movies of all time, uh, and it still holds up to this day. I still love My Bloody Valentine. It's such a great slasher movie. One of the greatest... Number 16, Night of the Living Dead. No comparison whatsoever. The original classic from 1968 by George Romero. By a mile, by a century. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, number 17, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Once again, <laughs> the remake just sucks, okay? The remake sucks. Uh, gotta go with the original classic from 1984, once again by Wes Craven. He's on here a lot, isn't he? Uh, number 18, The Omen. Uh, this is a case similar to the Psycho remake, where it was kind of like pretty much shot for shot. Uh, all the same events happened that happened in the original film. 
Uh, so it was done in the original better, uh, much better. Uh, it's such an awesome movie. I love the original Omen. It's much scarier. Uh, it's a much better made film. Uh, it's much more memorable. Number 19 is Poltergeist. Now, uh, I can't really comment on this because I actually haven't seen the Poltergeist remake. But Poltergeist, honestly, isn't one of my favorite horror movies anyway, so I'm not really sure on that one. I can't answer that one. Number 20 is Psycho. Now, come on. <laughs> this, was an, this is probably the worst horror remake ever, in my opinion. The most pointless remake of all time. Again, you had a five-star classic masterpiece in Psycho, directed by the legendary Alfred Hitchcock. Why on earth would you ever remake that? There's just no reason why, other than to have, other than the fact that it's more modern. Is that enough reason to remake something just to make it look newer? Uh, it's like putting a coat of paint on it or something. You know, it's just, it's just wrong. And again, it was shot for shot. They tried to make a complete rehash of the original. And that's all it is, is a rehash. And it's done with less talent. You had a less talented director, a less talented cast, and it's a much less effective movie. Uh, number 21 is The Stepfather. Uh, it's definitely going to go with the original on that one. Uh, and that was a really cool uh, slasher movie. Uh, number 22 is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my god, don't get me started on this. Bronco Juggalo, this is going out to you. The original masterpiece from 1974 is much better than the remake. Um, but I will say I do like the remake. The, re the remake was pretty solid. I did enjoy Jessica Biel's character in the film. I do enjoy R. Lee Ermey's character in the film as the Sheriff Hoyt. Uh, and Leatherface was well represented. But it's just not the terror, it's just not the chaos of the original. The original macabre masterpiece by the legendary Tobe Hooper. There's just no comparing. It's one of the all-time great horror movies. Uh, it's just incredible. It's just an incredible study in madness and complete lunacy. When you see that dinner scene, I just lose my mind. Uh, such an incredible study in madness. I've never seen anything like it. And there never will be anything like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's so real. It's so raw. It's so gritty. And it's just an absolute five-star classic. Uh, number 23, When a Stranger Calls. Um, yeah, I gotta go with the original starring Carol Keane. I really enjoy that film. And I feel like it was definitely done better than the remake. The remake seems to only focus on, like, the first 20 minutes of the original film. As opposed to a two-hour film. They just focused on, like, one part of it. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, the remake wasn't bad by any means. I thought it was pretty entertaining, but I like the original. Number 24 is Carrie. Uh, gotta go with the original from Brian De Palma, uh, starring the legendary Sissy Spacek, uh, based on the St Stephen King novel. Um, just an amazing classic. It's absolutely legendary. Uh, I did see the remake with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, and it wasn't bad. You had Julianne Moore as the crazy mother. She did a good job. Uh, it wasn't bad at all, I must say, but it can't compare to the original. Uh, the original is much better. Number 25 is The Fly. Now, that's a real close one. Uh, it's really tough for me because the original Fly is such a classic and it's got that great classic feel of the 50s style horror movies. Uh, and I always love that, you know. Um, but David Cronenberg did a fantastic job and with the remake. You know, you had Jeff Goldblum in there. It's, you had a great cast. Um, and of course, the legendary effects are just absolutely grotesque, you know. <laughs> Uh, the special effects makeup in that film are amazing. Some of the best ever. Uh, so I, I think that's where 
the remake has the edge on that one. So in the rare case, I'm going to have to go with the remake on that one. Uh, number 26 is Prom Night. Come on, you got to go with the original, starring the legendary, the lovely Jamie Lee Curtis, as well as Leslie Nielsen. I really enjoy the original. It's one of my favorite slasher films, especially that eerie opening. It's very eerie. Uh, and it's just a really solid slasher, you know. Uh, number 27, It. Stephen King's It. Um, and there's another one of the rare cases where I'm going to go with the remake. I really, really enjoyed the remake. It's one of my favorite uh, horror films of the past 10 years. Uh, I thought it was very, very effective, very well done. And I just absolutely love the characters in this film. Uh, every character is handled with the most care. Uh, and they're so well written and so well portrayed. And uh, I love Pennywise. He's terrifying in this film, you know. Uh, and I, I do love the original too. I love uh, Tim Curry's performance. But I feel like Tim Curry's performance is what completely drives the original. Whereas the new remake the whole movie is great, you know? It's not just relying on one performance. The whole movie is so good, you know? Uh, so now we got the bonus question. The Mummy. You got the 1932 version, you got the 1999 version starring Brendan Fraser, and then you got the 2017 version starring Tom Cruise. Uh, somebody forgot the Hammer Horror version starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. But... That's not in here, so I'm going to go with the original classic starring the legendary Boris Karloff in the Universal Monsters classic. Uh, for sure, that's my favorite out of these. Uh, so guys, that's it for the original versus the remake tag created by Movie Review Time. Uh, and I'm, now I'm going to tag some people, so I'm going to tag... Random Matt Videos, I'm going to tag Boogeyman Ben, I'm going to tag Random Horror... I'm going to tag the Horror Miser Monty G. I'm going to tag Andrew Bellina. I'm going to tag Dave Maggot. And I'm going to tag Movie Massacre. Uh, so guys, answer the call and do the original versus remake tag. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Gershon in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.